Local businesses are excited to have a big influx of the tourists, of course, and the city's been scrambling to put a good face on. They've been doing days of organized cleanups around the Moda Center and downtown, getting rid of trash and homeless campsites. Last night, we asked you to help our NCAA visitors by suggesting places that they visit as well as places they should avoid. Scott wrote, I used to work for Apple and often hosted senior management team folks in Portland. My required places to visit were the Dockside Restaurant and Saloon, Rimsky's, that's a coffee house, and Bishop's Close, that's the gardens around the Episcopal Diocese offices. It's hidden, it's out of the way, it's at the end of Military Lane in Dunthorpe, and it's a really beautiful place that no one knows about. Whoops, probably shouldn't have read that one. Michael wrote, I'm a big McMinimans fan, so I would suggest Edgefield, Kennedy School, Crystal Hotel, and any of their pubs. All of my out-of-town friends have been delighted. Carl shares, this is easy. The Portland Rose Garden and Japanese Garden. Also Powell's. No one should visit Portland without visiting the greatest independent bookstore in the world. And Coquine or Maurice restaurants. The dining does not get any better anywhere. Sherry left us a voicemail with her idea. I'm thinking McMinnville might be a, more than 45 minutes from Portland, but McMinnville's a great place. We had the Spruce Goose and the Evergreen Museum and the best wine tasting in the downtown area. Yeah, all right. Tom adds Japanese Gardens, Council Crest, and Mount Tabor. And when it comes to places you should avoid, Tom suggests whatever's left of the neighborhoods around Portland Meadows and the industrial Northwest Front Street area. 